Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Friday. It is Friday the 13th, honey. And it has been raining all day, like literally like the past 24 hours. It's just been raining out here in the Twin Cities. But you know what? It's a good day because I'm here to spill some tea. Y'all, it is so much going on right now on social media. Right now, currently, Will Smith is trending. Jada Pinkett Smith is trending. Jada is getting drug up and down social media because she would not remove us out this damn group chat, okay? So what's going down now is, as you guys know, I did my live stream, what, two days ago? And I talked about Jada going on Good Morning America, where she's basically, you know, she's promoting her book. And since then, she has literally been on a hobo tour where she just is talking about her situation nonstop. She's talking about Chris Rock. She's talking about Tupac and all types of stuff. So people right now are like just going in. People are tired of the nonsense. So what went down is that yesterday, Jada Pinkett Smith came out and she basically revealed that the comedian Chris Rock once asked her out on a date when he had believed that her and Will Smith were going through a divorce. And so she's saying that basically Chris Rock, you know, called her and asked to take her out. Um, and then only to realize that, you know, the divorce rumors were just that rumors. So y'all go ahead and check this video out really quick. Jada Pinkett Smith says Chris Rock once asked her out amid rumors she and Will Smith were divorcing. Jada makes a surprising revelation in her upcoming memoir, Worthy, out October 17th. And in a new interview, with people, she claims the comedian once called her up and said he'd love to take her out after reports swirled that she and Will were calling it quits. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, aren't you and Will getting a divorce? I was like, no, Chris, those are just rumors. He was appalled and he profusely apologized. And that was that. ET has reached out to Chris for comment. All right, so y'all just saw that video of her talking about, you know, Chris Rock trying to get at her, honey. So everybody was talking about that yesterday. And then she also was talking about Tupac. Like, she's literally on a hobo tour at this point in time trying to promote this book. So in the first interview, she meets with Rolling Out's Crystal Jordan. And basically, she's talking about how Tupac is her soulmate, but that she never hooked up with Tupac due to a lack of chemistry. Okay, girl, if you say so. So y'all yeah, go ahead and check this out. Of, of soulmate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, you know, definitely. I, I don't think if there is such a thing as past lives, mm -hmm. I definitely think Pac and I have traveled a few together, yeah. <laughs> you know, in various forms. So did you ever, has there ever been a time that you regretted the decision that you made not to take it? to that level with him and to keep it in the friendship space? It just wasn't possible. There was no chemistry between us. <laughs> you know, I talk about it in the book. You know? That's so hard. I know, but that's just so hard to imagine. At the time, he was in a bad, you know, he was in a space where, you know, he was in jail and all that, but it's just hard to believe that we see chemistry with the two of you guys, even in the, the videos, the videos you guys dance and there seems to be so much chemistry, but yeah, for your chemistry, it is, it's that friendship, love chemistry. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> been, let me tell you. All right. So y'all just saw what she had to say to Roland out. Now, what's very interesting about that is that later on, she went on to another podcast. She went on to the All the Smoke podcast with Matthew Barnes. And basically, she talked about how Tupac proposed to her. It's to the point that my kids are texting me about Tupac and Jada. My son is like, it's been 27 years and this man's name is still ringing bells. Like Jada is really putting all the Tupac tea out there for real, for real. Jada at this point is just talking to me talking. Y'all go ahead and check this out. A lot of people might not know, but he proposed to you while he was in jail. I talk about this in the book when I go to see him in Rikers, when I wrote about that in the book and when I had to um, talk about it, uh, speak my words for the audible version of the book. That was probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in and having to leave him there. and. Um, 
he was in, he was, he was in, he was, he was, he was in bad shape. And so when he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. And I knew at that time that a, he needed somebody to do time with him, Mm. which I was going to do anyway. You didn't have to marry me to do (laughs) time. Right. I'm, I'm here. I see why we love you. <laughs> and then to um, like he needed a rock. He needed uh, because of our friendship and because of everything we had been through together. He just wanted to feel that solidified foundation. You know, because I promise you, he would have married me and divorced me as soon as his <laughs> ass left. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. He would have. All right. I'll be real with it. Right. Because so many people in that position don't have support. Right. None at all. None. You know? He got the best. uh, Right. He was just like, look. And I just think it was the mind state that he was in. You know? He he wrote me this long letter. And um, I think even before Pac went to jail, he was starting to trend. He was starting to shift in a certain manner. Good or bad? Good. Really good. Um, and I think that for him, he just felt like, okay, if I can tether myself, it'll keep me on a trajectory. All right. So y'all just saw that snippet of Jada talking about Tupac once again. And so now she's currently viral because she's talking about the Oscar slap heard around the world. And so what's going on with that is she's saying that she was shocked when Will Smith called her his wife. I mean, it's a public event. Why would he not call you his wife when y'all are still actually married? But she's saying that she was shocked. She wasn't expecting Will Smith to go up there and slap Chris Rock. And she also admits that Chris Rock pulled her to the side and tried to apologize to her. But she kind of felt like, you know what? This is some old shit. This is not the right moment. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I did that eye roll, not so much for me. And I think this is really important. But the fact that there could be a jab at alopecia. Will then went on a profane tirade warning Chris not to mention his wife's name. Jada couldn't believe what she was hearing. What is going on? Now, first of all, I'm really shocked because, mind you, I'm not there. We haven't called each other husband and wife yeah. in a long time. But I'm like, what is going on I right keep now? my wife's, wife's name. name out of your yes. mouth, yes. right? And I'm yes. like, but now I'm really worried for Will because I don't know what's going mm-hmm. on. What viewers did not see at the time while Oscar clips were being shown was Chris Rock leaning over the stage to talk to Jada. And Chris looks to me and he says, Jada, I meant you, I meant no harm. Now, I, I'm just out of it because i yeah. really worried about And Will. what's Will doing? He's just sitting there? And Will's still talking. He's like, oh. he's still, because now he's mad because Chris is talking to me. And I go, Chris, this is about some old sh-. That's all I could think to say, yeah. right? And I couldn't really take in his apology. How unusual for Will, a guy who... I mean, on that kind of stage to do something so insane. Absolutely. It's totally it's out of not character. not him whatsoever. All right, so y'all just saw that clip. This entire situation is insane. I don't know what Jada's motive is. Like, I get it. She's trying to drum up attention for her book. But I also think she's going about it the wrong way. If she wants to talk about her book, I guess that's fine. But why keep... I feel like it's making Will Smith look worse. Like you're you're steadily throwing him under the bus. You're using the Oscar situation that he clearly wants to get over, which has affected his career greatly. Um, you're using that again to promote your book. We know the the death of Tupac has not been solved. You're also using that to promote your book. And I think at this point, it's just showing how selfish Jada is, that she's willing to throw anybody under the bus to make it all about her. I don't think she ever really wanted to be married. And we could take it back to the Red Table Talk when she was talking about how she cried on her wedding day. And I don't think she really liked it, the idea of marriage. I think Jada is more of a free spirit. And I feel like she liked what came with Will, which was the attention, the fame. It definitely upped her status as well. Um, I think she liked the glitz and glamour that came with it, but she did not like being tied down. And I was so upset that I had to have a wedding. I was so pissed. 
We, I we, went crying down the freaking aisle. I'm getting married. Getting yeah. married. <laughs> Cried the whole way. <laughs> I really didn't want to get married, but... We only got married because Gammy was crying. I was married. under so much pressure, you know, being a young actress, being yeah. young, and, and I was just and like... pregnant. Pregnant, and I just, I was just like, I didn't know what to do. But I just knew, I was like, I never wanted to be married. Because the wedding was horrible. It Jada. was a horrible wedding. <laughs> it, it was a mess. Jada was sick, sick. she yeah, was yeah, very yeah, yeah. unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't cope, but she was sick. She, she sick, yeah. didn't cooperate with anything. We were six anything. months pregnant at the wedding. No, I no. wasn't. How many? Three, three months. Three three. months pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a day in my life that I wanted anything other than being married and having a family. Wow. From, like... Well, thank the good Lord. Literally five years old, I was picturing what my family would be. Wow. So she enjoyed the perks, but she didn't want to be tied down. I mean, the fact that Will Smith said that he dreamt of being married, he dreamt of what his family would look like. This is why it's very important that people get with people who they are equally yoked with. Jada did not want to get married. She was cool being a single mother and whatever else. And I just don't think they were equally yoked from the beginning. But of course, we didn't know that as the audience. We're looking at this perfect facade. And now we fast forward 25 years later and they're screaming, bad marriage for life. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. Like, please have several seats with this nonsense. And to me, it comes off as very fake because the fact that you're going to stay in a marriage that's been over for seven plus years. That's what she told Good Morning America the other day is that the marriage had been over for years. She was still willing to stay in it, per se, for appearances. You know what I'm saying? And, and another thing that comes off as very fake to me is how are you in a marriage that you're not that you don't want to be in? that you've mentally and physically checked out of because she was sleeping with August. She was mentally checked out of that marriage. But yet and still, for several years on your Red Table Talk, you sat there and you gave advice to people. You know what I'm saying? You sat there and you talked about relationships and you gave lectures to millions of people who watched the Red Table Talk on how they should, you know, live their life and how they should handle situations when your own home and marriage was in disarray. So to me, it just comes off as fake and hypocritical. And I think as far as the Tupac thing, like at this point, it's getting old. Um, either you're going to spill the tea on y'all's real relationship. And I'm not saying that they were intimate or not intimate, but in one breath, you're saying that he's your soulmate. And then another breath you're saying, but you know, he he wasn't, you you didn't like him enough to, to be with him intimately. But then in the same breath, he wanted to propose to you. I just feel like she's all over the place with her Tupac stories. And these Tupac stories have ran dry at this point. I mean, a few years ago, you had the daughter out here writing letters to Tupac, crying. She wasn't even around when Tupac was here. So it's just, it's becoming a bit much. And it's just more and more things to embarrass Will about. And that is why Will turned into Will Pac during the Oscars. Because it's like he's literally fighting the ghost of Tupac because Jada will not stop bringing up Tupac. Like this is somebody that she claimed she wasn't intimate with, that she was very close close with but she's constantly bringing him up in interviews constantly talking about their relationship it's like this man has to fight a spirit and it's just very very weird now again will smith is not perfect i've been called out you know his side piece heidi de la rosa okay we've been talking about that for years so yeah he's not perfect but i will say this one thing about will smith is that he's not messy you know We'd have no idea about them being separated or any of this if it was not for Jada. She's the one putting out all their business. She's the one being messy on the red carpet with August Salsina to the point where I was able to put two and two together years ago. You know, so she's been constantly embarrassing their marriage and their relationship. And he honestly hasn't done that. You know, he's never come out and just, you know, been like this. If, if the gender roles were reversed... And Will Smith was in interviews constantly talking about an ex-girlfriend or even his ex-wife from long ago. People would be dragging him. People would be saying that's disrespectful to your current wife. That's disrespectful to your current situation. Imagine if, you know, Trey or uh, Willow or Jaden were sitting here writing letters to Will Smith's ex-girlfriends and how they miss her. And won't she come back and make their dad happy? This shit is weird. 
I don't understand what Jada is on. When I think about it, Will Smith and Jada were like our couple goals, which y'all call couple goals nowadays. Like a lot of us really looked up to them and we looked at them like, you know, they have this perfect situation. What a beautiful black couple, black love. Um, even uh, J. Cole, even in role models, J. Cole raps, he's like, I want that real love, that dark skin and Viv love, that Jada and Will love. Like, that is my song. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Like, damn, Jada, we thought you was, you know, one time for my L.A. sisters, one time for my L.A. hoes. Like, come on, Jada. Like, she's just doing the most right now. And I'm just like, we really, really love them together. We really looked at them like, you know, of course, no relationship, no marriage is perfect, but they were like that, you know, exemplary black couple. And that has just been shattered for me and a lot of people. And she just won't stop. At this point, Jada, please take me and the tea sippers and the internet out of this group chat. We are over it. I don't know if she's trying to destroy him and make him look even worse because she's mad because Will Smith doesn't get as much backlash as she's been getting. I'm not sure what her intentions are, but it's just not a good look. And social media is not feeling it. They are literally dragging her all over Twitter right now. So with that being said, y'all, I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Let me know what y'all think about this messy, messy situation concerning Jada Pinkett Smith, or I guess we could just call it Jada Pinkett now because they're technically not together, um, and the Will Smith drama. How do you feel about her going on this hobo tour to promote her book, and yet she won't stop bringing up Tupac and Will Smith and Chris Rock and everything else? So I want to hear y'all's thoughts. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about everything. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Most importantly, Importantly, make sure you guys are still subscribed to the channel because we're trying to get to a million subscribers this year, okay? And thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.